Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another day. Today I got a throwback for you because I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm a little sick. Number two, I did a 18.6 uh, mile ruck march today. It's called the Norwegian Ruck March. You put 25 pounds on your back <clears throat> and you run slash walk 18.6 miles. So I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What uh, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. The pace for it is about 14.30 per mile, but I was trying to come in under four hours. I came in at 4.06, but anyways, this is a little throwback from Todd Baldwin's podcast, and uh, it basically talks about how the truth offends people who don't want to put in the work. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I will be coming with another Market Sunday's Market Review tomorrow, the show that has actually proven, it's actually predicted a lot of things that happened in the market. And uh, been very insightful, but not very many people pull up for that. I'm not going to discontinue it, though, because it's one of my more valuable videos. But anyways, enjoy this old clip, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Yeah, that is incredible. So, okay, so here you are. You're a young guy. You own a home. You paid off all your debt. You have close to $120,000 net worth, which is just insane, and it's awesome for someone your age. So... I'm just going to ask the blunt questions that people are afraid to, to ask and answer. You're not afraid to because you do it on your channel all the time. Um, when people say, oh, you know, well, you can't get ahead because of race or gender or sexual orientation or what, whatever it is. And there's a lot of that out there today. What's your response to that? Because you, you seem to have just made some choices that put you in a position to succeed. So, yeah, I think that... It's, I think I find it very weird that my message offends so many people because I think that a lot of people, there's like the right and the left both think that each other are racist. And I, I think that there's one, one faction of people that will say um, they're, they're, they're talking about the genetic component, right? Like racially white is better than black. And then there's another faction that will say, um, you know, the cultural component, but, or like, you know, they're, they're, they're pointing at the culture, like black culture better than white culture. But I think that there's kind of a center course. It's like, well, certain behaviors are better than other behaviors, which is a very non-controversial thing to say, but somehow it still offends people. Like <clears throat> in my case, for me living with a roommate, I would say is better financially uh, than not living with a roommate. Um, and I, I just try, I kind of try to emphasize that on the channel that like, hey, no matter what's going on with your life, I know you've been through a lot of tough stuff. I know there's single mothers out there. There's, you know, people of all different races and genders, but if you, you do certain things, it's proven time and time again, which is what I'm trying to prove with my uh, net worth update series, that if you do certain things, you will succeed. And it doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter what you got going on downstairs. <laughs> it, it, if you do these things, you will succeed. That's, that's my message. And, Sometimes it come off as crass, um, but I don't know. I like that a little bit, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. well, that, I think that's great, and I, I think you're right. And the, the problem is that it's very easy for people to get upset with men like you because you tell the truth. And right. a lot of the times the truth is inconvenient because it'll totally shatter this image or identity that someone may have. And I was reading this um, statistic about poverty and basically talking about how there are certain ways to avoid poverty and where it will work with like almost 99% certainty. And I think the list was if you graduate high school, meaning you don't drop out of high school, you wait to have kids until you're married and you wait to get married until you're 20. If you do those three things, there is a 99% certainty that you will never be in poverty. And all of those things can be choice. And I, I understand there are rough circumstances. I, I get that. I understand that. But most of those things are within your control. And it's not that difficult to do those three things. Right. Is that a cat behind you? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. did not know you had a cat. I, was, I, I was don't like, have That's... a cat. So oh, okay. this is uh, my, <laughs> my sister-in-law is staying with me right now. And she has the cat and the cat likes to wander and it found its way over to my bed. Into a podcast. 
into a podcast. So this is Winnie, <laughs> Winnie Winster, the cat. She is on the podcast today. Um, it's only been day two, and she's already thrown up in my room once. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get some brownie points with the wife for letting her sister, her sister's like, cat <laughs> live in my bedroom. <laughs> nice. Hopefully we can get some follows on that cat or something. I don't know. Yes. I was like, that's not. <laughs> Everybody out there, smash the like button for Winnie the cat. Winnie Winster, um, I don't want to say this too loud because it'll hurt her feelings, but she's the fattest cat I've ever seen. She's huge. She's like a it's sack thick. of potatoes. You're supposed to say thick. <laughs> shame on me shame on me for fat shaming winnie the cat but yes that is not my cat it is uh it is my sister-in-law's cat but anyway yeah so going back to what we were talking about i think you're right on the money there where there no matter what your circumstances are uh there are certain decisions you can make to be successful and you're proof of that you've paid off all your bad debt you you're working your way up you're active in the military you know you have other things going on like your rental house your youtube channel but it's because you're deciding to do that. And most people don't want to make that decision because it's easier to complain. 